In this video, we play an American Heavy with an almost impenetrable turret and a gun so big, it'll make a king tiger squeal like a kitten. This is the M6A2 E1. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing a vehicle that puts out a statement to the enemy that this is your house and you're not allowed inside of it. This is of course the M6A2 E1 heavy tank for the US Tech Tree, of course a premium, which is a direct upgrade over the T1 E1 right here. Now if the differences aren't obvious, of course this thing has a gigantic turret and a much bigger gun, you'll probably need glasses if you don't see that, or maybe eyeballs. But before we get to the good things about this vehicle, let's talk quickly about the bad. The armour on the lower hull is pretty pathetic, it's about 60 to 70 millimetres at most points, but luckily for our upper front plate here, you have a nice bit of spaced armour. Of course, rolled homogenous armour being spaced over the top of cast homogenous armour actually doesn't give us that much more protection, but against Tigers and Panthers, it can do pretty well. Most large calibre APHE, like the 122, will go straight through this thing, which I learned very abruptly in this video, but things like Solid Shot and APDS really struggle with it. And speaking of struggle, let's talk about this thing's turret. It is absolutely gargantuan. We have pretty much 200 millimeters of armor at any point given on this thing, and of course it overlaps, making it a volumetric nightmare for enemies to hit. And the turret cheeks are extremely angled. Of course, with any vehicle, really, there are some weak points, such as this little bit up here. Yes, you can pretty much pin this with a Panzer IV, and the little bit below the cupola is not too good either. The problem you're going to face, though, trying to hit this weak spot is this thing's gun shooting you back. Now, most of you will be familiar with the T29, which has been moved up to 7.0. This thing has basically the same gun, 253 millimeters of penetration with practically a nuke shell with 181 grams of TNT. So anything you penetrate is very likely going to die. Of course, our depression is very good at 10 degrees. And helping with this thing's size, we actually have a pretty good transmission here in the back. We don't have a good top speed, but we can hit 30 kilometers an hour in forwards and reverse. Now, of course, there's an event on right now, so you can bag yourself an object 292 or whatever the hell it's called. So I thought we'd bring out something that's very good in a defensive position and just lock it down for the entirety of the game and I can think of nothing better than a 105mm cannon strapped to a physical bunker. Genuinely, this thing feels like as long as you're hull down and you can hide behind objects a lot taller than any other tank can, just expose your turret and the enemy has a real nightmare of a time clearing you out. Let's get into battle and I'll show you how we get on. Right dude, there's 38 parallel, let's go. We're gonna go to a, a hopefully a sneaky little spot. I can't remember, I think the King Tiger can still go through our upper front plate. And the 122 most certainly can. Our turret is our only hope, really. And we've obviously got those little cheeks at either side of the big front plate. Can you see the two plates, actually? See how they're like welded on the front? A bit like the super purging, but actually works. Because it's not made out of boiler plate. <laughs> it's actually rolled too much in this armor. So here we are. All these faster tanks go. Distract the enemy for a little while. I kind of want to be on the dam side of this map. Actually, where that bulldog is going. Now, this is probably a dumb move of me to actually just push out here, but I'm going to try. So I don't want to be stuck behind this rock the entire match. I don't see anyone, honestly. This is the scary bit here, though. No one's here. Whoa! A free kill. As long as he's not looking my way. He isn't. He is. Oh my god. He's gone. Right. We do a bit of reloading first. Before we peek back out again, right? But this is... There's a little sly spot there. Let's see if we can base on it. Okay. Hmm. I can barely see him. So I'm gonna move. Tiger 2H. Quicker. Right, here we are. This is a great spot for us because it means only our turrets really showing. Kinda. A bit of our upper front plate will be because we're massive. Is that a guy there? There, no. Oh, hey, that's a guy. God, this cannon is insane. Oh, it's a, a, a Yag Panther he's dead. Oh, my teammate just got shot from the left too. Another Tiger 2H. 
I hope this guy respawns soon so I can see. Is that a Yag Tiger? Oh, that's a Tiger 2H. Oh my god. The amount of explosions that happen to people when they die now is a bit absurd. Oh, that's not a good shot. Right, he's gonna be re reloaded and waiting on me. This is a true test to see. Does my man let hold up to that guy? Never mind. My teammate was on it. He didn't get the cap. There's a. I want to show you a little graphical trick, right? On your options and your graphics, this particle density, turn that off. Don't don't play with old graphics like me. It means you can see through that dust. And everyone else is doing it, so until guys you enforce it as an option, uh, it's a bit silly to have it on, honestly. Am I safe under this ledge from this artillery? I'm quite comfortable with my turrets armor, but I'm not comfortable with my hull armor. That is the most unfortunate push that you've ever done, Panther, in your life. It was actually a pretty bad artillery strike thing, go, thankfully. Advancing. There's somebody down there. We don't want to peek out too far, though. Sometimes folks go up there to counter this, yeah. Oh, what are you? Oh, no. It's a artillery bus. I just... Did he hit the brakes? You're, you have no idea how lucky you are. Hey. That guy's shooting at shapes, too. <laughs> that, that's bad news, that thing. He's scouted, though. My teammate's got him scouted. Where are you going? Oh, he went all the way down the hill. I'm a bit concerned about getting my barrel shot out to you. This guy is desperate to go on this sea cap. I can hear him just moping about. Is my M4 going to get this guy? He's it's a... A shirging, as we like to call it. Hey, it's a Tiger 2 again. I did the same thing again. Where did he hit me? Oh yeah, dude, our, our turret cheeks just too thick, man. Okay, this tiger's been shot now. Bait him into this again? I don't know, I think I just become... He's pulling back, he's probably lost his breach. And the 2S3M is dead. Did I just see movement there? King Tiger doesn't want to play with me. He's getting arted now. Yeah. My teammate is calling out the guy that's right next to me on my left, but... Please? Just come and say hello. I'm friendly. There goes the Tiger 2H that I had the bad shot on. Is that an anti here? Oh wow, okay, that was a bit too much of an angle on a panther, I guess. Oh no. Another heavy here. It's an IS-3, bro. Right, well, I'm glad that's gone. We're getting arted again. What if I just pull back a little bit? I need to reload anyway. I gotta get this panther, and I think it's a ZSU. Okay, panther's dead. ZSU here. Particle density. Moment. Oh, he just died. It was a ZSU 57. Okay. My team is pretty good control now on this map. What's coming? Okay, it's a friendly. I hate hearing that specific engine noise. Big turbo diesel sound always generally means big scary howitzer. Where was that gap I shot that... I shot at the guy there, right? A Praga. There's many enemies that I'm, I'm not actually sure what the enemy's doing. I 
think since we've got a better control over here, I'm going to push out. Not my best plan ever, I don't think, but... I think we need to get to a different position if we're going to put some pressure on the enemy. Especially since we have all three caps. Generally, you just should hold there, right, and stop people from getting the cap back, but... A T-34, I don't know what you're supposed to do to me. I killed this loader by hitting this driver's hatch, dude. I honestly, I shot the driver hatch on purpose just to prove a point. There's another one in here. Don't be an IS2. There's actually two in here. Unlucky. Yeah, he shot me centre mass. Long reload again. This guy's a hull shouldn't blow up again though. It did. It did blow up again. Did, it, did an enemy sneak past me by the way? Or am I here in my T92? We'll never know. That is... Oh, a BTR is coming in. There's something else up there. It's probably the Praga. Got a loader. Got a driver on him. He actually penned me. And this guy needs to push. My T-92 now. The only thing is, Martina 2 is very vulnerable to him. Yeah, that, that wasn't very clever. Oh, there's a heavy tank here now as well. I'm gonna have to have 50 callus. There's an IS-1. Problem or not. What are you? Holy moly! We're okay. Right, where is IS-1 now? I'm a little worried about the IS-1. Never mind. We're, we're alive and well and we're, we've done okay then. Nine and a, a three assists. I'm actually close to a nook. I want to get up this hill a little bit more. That's a big boy, isn't it? Unlucky, man. <laughs> Holy crap. That was a big explosion. I really like this cannon. Its reload is obviously not great, but it, it has the means to deal with pretty much anything that you face, right? It is. That's, that's what you want at a, a vehicle like this. But luckily... We just had the right map set up, etc. Where we could hide our hull for the most part and still be quite effective. He's done. That's an IS2. He's scared of me. An IS2 is scared of me. Can I? Oh, an enemy got to see behind me. Did he go through my upper front plate? Yeah, I thought so. So there we go. We can definitely be deleted by an IS-2. Because the shell's so big that it normalises, right? Right, we, we got the nuke anyway. First match back in a long time in that thing. This is not a great map to nuke, is it? With the hills and stuff? Anyway, GG. Not too bad, dude. Actually got a pretty good reward, even though we didn't even get to drop the nuke. Actually, let's have a wee check here where we're at it. The Silver Lion bonus is pretty high, 630%, and then we've got premium on top of that too. Right, dude, here we go. We we are on a 7-3 match. We are some tough opposition, a lot of US heavies on our team, but they are going to be pr pretty negated by our, our opponents. Heat, APDS, Heat, very high pen, APHE, and of course Germany as well, a mix of, of all three. We need to be very careful here. Very careful. 
I forgot about the flamethrower as well. I didn't even notice it on 38th parallel. I like taking that bike with me though. Uh, uh, there's something really charming about that folding bike. I'd love one of those IRL, but I know they're very expensive. I can hang it up in the workshop. Maybe the flamethrower too. JK. I'd get arrested for having a sharpened bar knife where I was. My teammate just hit a guy over here, but. Oh yeah, I see him climbing. Side climbing, dude. I'm showing quite a lot of my hull, I don't like that. Oh, he's, he's a Yag Tiger. That's a weird place for a Yag Tiger to go. God, we're so massive. It's, it's how tall we are, right? I do want to... I don't know if I want to go around to the next part. Probably better I just stay here, right? Let's uh, 50 cal some of this mess up here so I can see. A lot of people like to go in that rock. Right, let's uh, get rid of some more of these tents. My teammates have already done it. Got rid of most of the clutter. Actually, nobody out here. I I'm a bit perplexed, actually. Probably quite a few. My teammate had better timing than me, I guess. T30. My man. <laughs> He's nicked that guy. Make sure this upper plate is angled at least if someone does come up top. We'll move down to sea eventually, but for now, I just want to make sure no one gets up there and gets a good foothold. That's the spot I'm talking about there. I'm leaving the other wooden thing there because they need to knock that down to get to that spot. So if I see it's collapsed and I know someone's nearby, a tiger too there. Big man just slapped him. I don't know, I will get a shot on him, but I don't know if I'll be able to hit him. No, we won't. Holy crap. It's another Yag Tiger. Yeah, let's not tempt fate with a 128, shall we? That's still alive and well. Oh, T29 got it before I did. It's the same gun as me. T30 is really our only hope, I think, for this Yag Tiger. Did you just shoot the Yang Tiger or oh, someone smoked in the background? Oh, yeah. I missed him really badly, dude. What am I doing with my life right now? He means for this Yang Tiger scout who's just continually staring at us right now. Got a quick check there. Hey, big man, you're brave if you're going to pick that. I don't think he just fired. You go first. Go on in. He hit him, did nothing. Let's go lower plate. I, I hit his... Where they stick together, the two plates. Not a great shot. Not my finest moment. I'm hoping I redeem myself eventually here. I know you can see a bit of me and I'm, I'm worried about my cupola more than anything. Okay, he, he goofed it. It's transmission only. I hate that. Two sides of it. Holy crap. Are you bombed? Yes. I'm really sorry, T Daddy. I had no idea that guy was coming around. There's another one there. The Yag Tiger just smoked himself too. I roughly remember where he was. Obviously not. Not having the best time right now. My ability is running dry. I used up all of my uh, skill on the last map. Don't see anything pushing B. Guy scouted this way. I wonder if that IS-3 came through here. I don't see any tracks that would indicate that he did. Let's see if I can peek about this dude. My teammate's getting sea cap. Still that friendly Spitfire, right? 
God, our turret is so big. That's that Yag Tiger in there. He probably doesn't want to move. If he does though, we got him. I can hear another engine idling to my left side. I do really want to shoot these things down so I can see better, but it's probably a big mistake. I don't want my 50 cals giving my position away. Here comes our big boy. That's the one, dude. That's the shot we wanted. BTR. Right now, I will use my 50 cal. I got one of his crew, at least. That'll be an assist eventually. That's a jet. That's a strike master. Okay. Backing this up. Teammate's not doing anything about it. That's fine. Not going for me again. Is that an enemy? It sure was. Oh, her. An M42 him from miles away. My 50 cal's broken. God, did I, I almost hit that little guy. I went from absolutely whiffing shots on that Jagdiger to that ballistic arc in a Japanese SPA. God, where is this Praga? Oh, he's up there. I mean, they're on A now. I'm gonna just pull back a little. My M18 is trying to get this BTR. Enemy on B? Oh, yeah, it's a Rital. That's awkward to that. I did not know he had ammo there. I was actually aiming for his crew. There's a little Japanese anti-air. I got his gun on field tank. Is he stuck? He was kind of stuck. I only have this scorpion on my left. We're getting B. Someone just fired this way. Another plane. I think a lot of these guys in Capped A are probably on their way up. But uh, God bless this guy who died here because uh, our, this husk is really handy. It means I can actually get an angle on B without exposing the majority of my hull at least. A chariot here is coming. Not good. I'm gonna have to back off and uh, try and deal with the things behind now. My Pershing is... Is he gonna be okay? Yeah, I think he's gonna be fine. But I need to babysit C-Cap now. Because it's literally just me over here. There's a lot of enemies, dude. A lot of them. Bulldog? That guy got a jump scare. For absolutely certain. There's the chariot here. So he kind of bumped. He... He needs a cap, I don't. I'm gonna push him actually. Oh, he hit me. It didn't go through because of the double armor plate. That was really dumb of me. Right, back out this way for a sec. I just want to get a look at 
what's happening on B cap. Because my teammates are getting shot from up there. We're getting A, but. Very long. Is that a jumbo? Yeah. Oh, it was just a normal. A normal Sherman. Right, it's my turn to get airplane, I think. Another guy here. Yagibu. Done for. Yeah, we're making up for it now. That was absolutely terrible initially. And, and honestly, I, that charioteer should have killed me. And not, not because he's a bad shot. I think he just got gaijin. was bro afk over here or something can i actually see over this not quite it's t44 i think is like afk or he's crashed the servers are a bit of a disaster right now because of the events going on right just about there he goes. I'll take a free kill, dude. I'll be that guy. I'm stuck. We are nowhere near a new guy. Didn't enough damage. My teammates are overrunning him now. Oi. That's not good. Is that a BTR? He wasn't looking at me. Hey, that's my 109 making that noise. Big boy again. Your two. Tiger Zero. There it is. The, the double ace. The the infamous double ace. Now nook. Almost. Very almost nearly. I love this cannon. Is it as good as a T29? No. Is it still a good tank though? Absolutely. Absolutely. I can tell if this guy's pushing my way or if he's pushing my teammate. Pushing my teammate. Slow whatever it is. Dragging its heels, dude. <gasps> it's a Senmar one. Another APDS slinger. Uh, again, where did he hit me? Oh, he was using solid. <laughs> anyway, that's a nook. There we go. GG. <laughs> so I've tried doing longer format type game videos so you get an idea of what I'm thinking and how I'm using the vehicle. Let me know if you're still enjoying that. I might do two different types of content and someone's also asked me to do videos basically using lineups. So I think what I'm going to do is we'll do every nation with my favourite lineup uh, all one after the other, day after day. How do you guys feel about that? That way I can show you how to build a lineup and obviously how to play it as best you can in a match. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching today. Appreciate you being here. Uh, I'll be back again tomorrow, I think with the British Vickers Mark 1. I've not played this thing in a while. And the last time I played it, I think I only used Hesh. So I'd like to unleash this thing uh, on the enemy actually playing it normally, which would be nice. As always, a huge thank you to everyone who supports the channel over on the Discord and Patreon. Thank you guys very much. To everyone over on Discord who get a, sh a shout out, that's Ari's Sexy, White Wolf, Army Rebel, Bofi the Starry, Erza the Titania, Fearless Germ, Goosebelly, Masters 8, Mushy Boy, Rice Fields, Rusty, Satan Karma, Sizzy Zar, Sniper, Stoyan, Strike Noir, War Daddy, Rigged Wolf and Zig. And to everyone over on Patreon, that's Matthew S, Paul Wondrick, Cookie Muncher, Shane McGuire, Ahenius, Anderson, and NB1, Kenobi, Ethan, Excavation Nation, Jay Parambi, Lover Weasel, Maybe Cookie Muncher, Not Cookie Muncher, Ride, Shaft, Tectonic, Tanks Gone Well, The Anomaly, Mortan, and David Pyrophoric, and the one, the only.
Rosalini and to everyone else still here. Thank you very much for watching. Much love and bye-bye.